Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakak, Radash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures and Lord willing, uh, get into an article uh, that I got from behalf of the beautiful brother uh, Bakwar Amath uh, from a lesson he did earlier today alive. Uh, he went into a couple of articles and uh, he actually left uh, several of them, I believe three or four of them uh, on the comment board. You know, I, I went through a few of them and uh, one of them moved the spirit, you know, so through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, uh, we're going to get into the spirit of prophecy, being that Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai has given me the inspiration uh, to do this lesson. You know, but Lord willing, um, I'm going to leave... Uh, Bakwar Amath's uh, YouTube uh, in the description box. You know, I recommend you brothers if you're not following them and you sisters as well uh, to definitely you know uh, subscribe. You know and share that brother's uh, channel. He's always going into you know current events. You know things that are happening. Uh, you know current. You know you want to stay in the loop. You know, I recommend you uh, subscribe. Uh, to this brother's channel. Uh, but I'll uh, do the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai before we grab that article. You know, we got to grab a scripture first, a few scriptures, Lord willing. Uh, let's start in the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10, and it reads Never trust thine enemy. Who's our enemy? These heathen nations, starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. See, the 1930s Edomite is no match to the 2022 Edomite. Why? Because this man is at the climax of his technology. You see, this man... This man has a, a has a camera small enough to 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 search out an ant mound, man. You see, this man's at the pinnacle, you know, of his of his wisdom, of his science. You see, which science just goes into knowledge. You see, this man's at the very height of his understanding, you know, and his ability to uh Manipulate situations, pushes witchcraft, you know, all his propaganda he's able to influence. You see, he's at his very, he's at the very peak of that and his wickedness as well. <laughs> as you can see what's going on around the earth. Why do you think this is happening? Because the ruler of the earth, you see, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. And we know that Esau eating the so-called white man is the wicked, according to the book of Malachi and various other scriptures that pretty much pinpoint and target this man. You see? But he is the, the arch enemy of the nation of Israel, along with the other nations, man. As a matter of fact, I want to prove that before we continue to that article. Let's just prove it real quick. For edification, the book of Psalms, chapter 83. And, um... Verse 6 is the point. I'm going to just start from the top. And it reads, the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 1, and it reads, A song or a psalm of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. Right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Come get this man off of his high seat, man. Come get this man. Bring him low. Have this man sit down in the dust. 
put him underneath our feet where he belongs. Right? Continuing on, verse 2, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Right? And the tumult pretty much goes into uh, a loud noise. You know, this man spewing his rhetoric. You know, plastering Jake. You know, all over his media. Making Jake seem like, you know, he's the uh, minister society. Now, don't get me twisted. You got some wicked so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But uh, pound for pound, <laughs> Esau eating the so-called white man is, is a complete villain, man. You see? But this man uses his his uh, his media, you know, and other forms of uh, witchcraft to to make Jake seem like, you know, uh, you know he's the uh, uh, menace to society, man. You see, they speak down on Jake, all these heathen, you know, got something to say about Jake, you know. Hey, but this thing's about to take a turn for the better for us, but for the worse for these heathen, right? Continuing on, and they that hate thee, right, all these heathen nations have lifted up their head, right? What does it mean to lift up their head? They're proud. See, they they look down. On the sons and daughters of the Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see, they look down upon us. You know, they see us in this downtrodden and destitute state. You know, they see our people out here, you know, lost and confused. Uh, Eve uh, wearing blonde wigs. You got, you got, you got Jake running around with, with uh, blue, purple, and green hair. <laughs> You see, with, with, with skinny jeans, a glittering belt, and a man purse. You see, they see our people in this in this in this destitute state. You see? And what do they do? They look down on us for it. You see, because the, the curses are cleaving to us. See, they understand these heathen stand with Esau, even the so-called white man, know damn well. As long as we're disobedient to our power. We're going to stay in this, in this, in this state. You see, this is why us having this truth, us Aki Yamanakwaf having this truth, you know, and having turned back to our power and obedience, this is why it's making them mad. Because <laughs> they understand they can't do nothing with us when we're obedient to our power. Let's continue on. Verse 3, they have taken crafty counsel. Against thy people, right? What do you think those Bilderberg meetings are about? You see? <laughs> All these World Economic Forum meetings, what are those about? You see, what do you think this whole global uh, pandemic was about? And these global pestilences are about? It's always the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, the face of these things. Why? Why? Let's, let's continue on. And consult it against thy hidden ones. Right, they're against us. The hidden ones are the uh, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're the hidden ones. Because we're the only ones on this planet Earth that, that supposedly can't be Israelites. Anybody else can be an Israelite. You got these small hats, these 1948ers, okay, calling themselves the chosen people. But here it is, they don't fit one curse. Nor is the Hamashiach on the scene, King David, and peace on the earth. You see? Let's continue on. Verse 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right? Because again, they understand if they keep us in a, in a, in a disobedient state. Okay, well, we, you know, don't do what our power says, you know, we don't separate ourselves from the heathen, you know, as, as, as long as we, uh, you know, don't obey the law, statutes, and commandments on any level, you see, as long as we stay in a, in a reprobate state of mind, hey, they have us in the palm of their hands. You see, they're cutting us off with what? Esau's cutting us off with his, with his, uh, his curriculum, you know, that he indoctrinates us with from first grade to 12th grade. You see, if you go to college, you even more through. You see, you get fed and then scripted more lies. You see, this man then gave us the slave Bible. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? This man told us our, our, we started in the 1600s as slaves, man. This is how this man has cut us off from being a nation. You see? He's raped, robbed, and murdered our people and lied about it. Continuing on. And that and Salakia, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, right? And this is what they want because they know as long as they're above us, we're gonna be below them. You see? <laughs> There can't be both they can, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, can't be on top while these heathen are on top. You see? So this is why they do everything they can to make sure we don't remember who we are. You see, this is why they call us black, Dominican, Puerto Rican, right? Cuban, Mexican, Jamaican, Haitian. You see that? So on and so forth. They don't want us to remember who we are, hey, but they have no control over the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit is what brought us back to remembrance. This is why I say, Ka halalim la Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. For sending the Holy Spirit like he said he would. <laughs> you see, and it pulled the okie doke on these damn animals, man. These damn Edomite he, uh, elite have spent. I don't know how much money trying to keep Jake in the dark, man. Trying to keep, keep us from our power and from knowing who we are. To keep us from knowing that we are the chosen people. We're better than all these other nations, man. <laughs> you see? They never wanted us to, to know these things. Hey, this is why there's going to be great insurrection against those that fear the Lord. You see? Those of us that have the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're the main target. You see, these two thirds are just collateral damage. You know, they want, they want, they want that. They want the, uh, <laughs> the remnant. You see, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna give the angels charge over us. You see, we're gonna be protected, Akiyam and Akwaf. Right? Let's continue on. For they have consulted together with one consent. See. They are confederate against thee. See? What's that word confederate mean? Alliance. They're in alliance against our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And our power. You see? This is why Judith, the 16th chapter and the 17th verse says what? Woe to the nations that rise up against my nation, my, uh, that rise up against my kindred. You see? Let's continue on. Big paybacks on its way. And let's see the first name on the list, right? The book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 6, and it reads, The Tabernacles of Edom. And then remember, according to the book of, um, what's that? Uh, Genesis, uh, Genesis 36 and 8. Esau is Edom. You see? which is the so-called white man. Okay, who's next on the list? And the Ishmaelites, which are who? The Arabs. And then what? You got Moab. Who's that? The so-called Chinese. <laughs> See? And the Hagarines. Them damn stanky Africans, man. You see? The arch enemy being who? Esau, Edom. The arch enemy of Yasha Allah. This is why we are the face of all of his uh, propaganda, man. <laughs> you see? Because ultimately he understands that uh, we're Jacob, man. And he clearly understands. He knows Second Ezra, the sixth chapter and the ninth verse. He knows that scripture. And this is why this man's doing everything he can. To stay in the position of power with a synthetic with a synthetic birthright, man. See? And this is why this is coming. Let's get this article. Now this is um 
This is from suncorp.com, right? And this is from April 11, 2022. Hey, this is fresh off the press. Why I say that? Because you see what it's going into. This thing is fresh off the press, all right? Again, the water, uh, Bakwa Amath for this article. But it reads, right? Mike uh, Salakia, micro C hipping humans. Will you get a, a micro C hip under your skin? And you know us Aki, I'm an Aqua. Hell to the hell no. Continuing on. Now, I'm going to have to speak in code. You Aki, I'm an Aqua for hip. You know, but if there is any new listeners, I'm you got to speak in code. You see, you should be able, you should be able to understand and follow along, right? And it reads: technology follows us everywhere these days. What used to be a phone attached to the wall is now an entire universe in our pocket. Clunky desktop computers have been traded up for lightweight laptops. And where our wrists used to be reserved for simple watches and bracelets, they can now be decked out with all-encompassing heart monitoring, payment making, text message sending, smart device. You see how this man's selling this thing? This man's a smooth criminal, right? Let's continue on. Considering how much closer to ourselves we're keeping technology, it makes sense for the next step to be keeping it inside our bodies, right? (laughs) That's what many people around the world think, including hundreds of Australians who have implanted micro C-hips under their skin. But even though there are a fair few early adopters, others aren't so sure. Throughout history, technology has seen plenty of criticism and, and and rumored uh, health risks and micro C hips are no exception. So, how valid are these concerns? Are they safe, or should we be cautious? <laughs> you should be more than cautious, because those of us that know, we understand <laughs> that that this thing is an um, an idol. You see, and you get in this thing. Not only is it a health risk. But you, you, you sold your soul to the devil. You understand this thing? Matter of fact, let's get this real quick. Let's get um. Salakia. Idol. Idol, right? An image or representation of a god used as an object, right? Of worship, you see that. So let's let's get some similar words. Uh, figure, figurine. Okay, no, icon, god, image. Well, yeah, pretty much this thing is a, a, a icon, man. This thing's gonna be being worshipped. This is an idol. Okay, that grain of rice is a, is an idol. Why? Because you're gonna be using it for everything. In anything, you see. This thing's going to have your whole life on it. Okay? Money. Right? Your health history. They're going to be tracking your carbon footprint with it. (laughs) You see? Your whereabouts. Hey, you're going to belong to them. You see? You're going to be bowing to the image of the beast. See that? Let's go back. His man's making this sweet. How he's how he's breaking this down. Let's get you know what's this? Uh, before we get to the ingredient, I'm gonna skip this right here. I'm gonna jump right over here. I am gonna read this whole article, Lord willing. Um, there's a lot of meat in there I, that I want to share with you. Aki and Aqua. How do human micro C hips work? All right, micro C hips devices. Salakia. Micro C hip devices are usually cylinder shaped. And the size of a grain of rice. You see this? They use radio frequency identification, RFID technology, to transmit information to a scanner. 
Examples of scans include entryways to your home or workplace or contactless payment systems like the ones you use to tap and go with your debit card or mobile device. You see? People are going to go head over heels for this thing, man. Because as we know, we live in a microwave society as it is. You see? So when these people realize the convenience they're going to have with it, they're going to jump on it. You see, this is one of the many miracles that this damn devil is going to gonna 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 show to get these get, to get a lot of people to do it see and humans micro c hip devices are inserted under the skin between the thumb and index finger Pfft. wow <laughs> the elders and the apostles of great millstone have been saying this for, for, for years man they have a unique identification number attached to them which is how your information is transmitted to the scanner. You're going to be linked to a motherboard, man. You're going to be part of that Internet of Things. You see? They're also inside a bio-inert glass to lessen the risk of your body rejecting it. And we know your body's going to reject it according to what? Uh, Revelations, the 16th chapter. Lord willing, we'll get that. Right? Continuing on. They've been said to hurt about as much as giving blood and less than most body piercings. Listen to how smooth this man is. They leave a tiny scar that usually, that's usually not noticeable after a few weeks. <coughs> this man is talking smooth. Let me get a quick scripture real quick. Let's get, uh, let's go back to Sirach. The book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 12, back in the book of, uh, back in chapter 12, and uh, I want verse 16, it reads, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, let me read that again from the top, an enemy, the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. We've already uh, proven that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is our arch enemy. The arch enemy of, of Yasha Allah, right? An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. But in his heart, right, in his mind, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. You see, this man understands. The more people he gets to get this device in them, that's their soul. He got them. See? Full control. Full control over you. It's You're through. Okay? And you signed up for that uh, uh, special judgment that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to bring upon the planet Earth. Right? Continuing on. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity... He will not be satisfied with blood, right? Because this time around, he wants your soul. And the phone chimed in. Again. You see? This is what's going on. Hey, we trying to warn you people, man. We trying to warn you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you speckled birds as well. That may look like the other nations, but your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, your spirit bears witness with the spirit that you are a child of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai. We're trying to warn you, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to us, like minded men. Men, we're trying to warn you. But the majority of you are going to still take your dumbass down to the clinic and get this thing injected in you. Let's go back to the article. And that's all through the world, Yahweh. And that's all through the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, where did I leave off? I left off right there, Khan. Continuing on. Potential negative side effects of micro C hipping humans. Okay, here we go. Being such a new technology. 
It's natural for people to have concerns and misconceptions about micro C hipping. Even though people have micro C hipped their cats and dogs for decades, there's still uncertainty around how it can work in humans. Here are some common questions. Can you track someone with a micro C hip? One of the main concerns many people have around human micro C hipping is whether the government can track their every move or even worse, if their partners are able to. This misconception might come from the fact that micro C hips have been used in our furry friends to identify them and monitor their movements. It's important to remember though that you can simply f- that you can't simply find a cat or a dog using their micro micro uh, C hip. It's only activated when it's scanned by say a vet or pound. In the same way, human micro C hips are only activated when they're close to a relevant scanner. They don't have batteries or inbuilt sensors and certainly don't have GPS capabilities. This man's lying. And we know he is. We know he is. They work like the C hip inside your credit card or fob key and that they're only useful when near a scanner. They've been programmed to interact with lying. This man's lying out his yellow teeth. <laughs> It wasn't this man talking about um, uh, carbon footprint tracking? And they're going to use technology to do that? I actually have a video on that that I want to share with you, Akiyama and Akwaf. Yeah, let me get that right now. I'm going to leave off right here. Let me go get that right now through the spirit. Actually, I came across that not too long ago before you know, firing off in this lesson. Right here, listen to this. We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their. We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So, individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. If you don't know what a demon is in the form of a man, you just seen one. That's a goddamn devil. Let me play this for y'all one more time. We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Mm. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. The Wadi Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Because having having the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, we can see through this That's devil. Where th- like a looking glass. We know exactly what they're about. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for giving us that eye cell. Let's continue on in the article. What are the health side effects of micro C hipping humans? The long term health risk of implanting micro C hips in humans is relatively unknown. On one hand, human micro C hipping has been green lighted around the world by various authorities. Authority bodies, including the FDA and Babylon the Great. You see it? Because this thing is going to be a global thing. Okay? This thing is going to be a global thing. It's going to come upon the world. Like, it's, what's that? Revelations 3 and 10. That our temptation. This is why it's been green lighted around the world by various authoritative bodies, including the FDA and Babylon the Great. You see it? It's coming. We almost out of here, Aki Yamanakwa. On the other hand, there's been research suggesting cancerous tumors have formed in a number of micro C-hip rodents and dogs. Dr. Catherine, whatever her name is, um, 
a consumer privacy advocate and known critic of FRID, compiled, they fi- com- compiled key findings from research conducted between 1990 and 2006. And this is facts because the scriptures speak on it. <laughs> okay. Those that, and that's one of the beloved brothers from the camp, brother Mat- Matan. Um, but yeah, the, uh, what's that? Revelations um, of the 16th chapter goes into that putrefying um, uh, sword you people are going to get. Let me get that. Let's go get it. So that's just the spirit. Because this, this is that's facts. These people that get it are going to get cancerous sores. How do we know that? <clears throat> because it's written. See? Revelation 16. And I'm going to start at verse 1 and it reads. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seventh angel, seven angels. So I'm going to read that again from the top. The book of Revelation chapter 16 in verse 1 and it reads. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels. Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of the most high upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the M-A-R-K of the beast. You can read about that in the 13th chapter. Okay, 13th and 14th chapter. And upon them which worshipped his image, right? Now, let me go to, um, let's go to uh, the blue letter and look up uh, that word sore real quick. Strong's G, 1668, Helkos. Helkos. And that's in the Greek. And what's it say? Biblical usage, a wound, especially a wound producing a discharge, pus. You see that? Sore and ulcer. You see that? Hey, usually that's related with what? Cancer. You see, these things are going to get infected. What do you expect? <laughs> you got a foreign object inside you, man. Talking about they're using bio-insulated glass or whatever they had mentioned. That shit's not going to work. The body's going to reject it. It's foreign. You see? And ultimately, this is what's going to happen to you people. Okay? You're going to get a wound producing a discharge of pus. You're going to be out of there. <laughs> You're going to be out of there. Let's go back to the article. There's still a little more on the article. Salakia. <clears throat> Excuse me. Salak. Yeah, this article was heavy. When he brought it out, I was like, when Bakwa Moth brought it out, I'm like, oh, man. And when I looked into it and went through it, I'm like, ah, the spirit just moved. There's a lot of meat in here. And hey, this is heavy. The Hawabah Shimi Shai is a man of his word. <laughs> You see? Let's continue on. Uh, I left off down here. Um, Things that she found. Yeah, let's read it. All right. She found that in in at last... Slakia. She found that in at least six studies published between 1990 and 2006, casual links between micro C-hip rodents and cancer were found. Tumors usually formed in the second year of the micro C hip being implanted. What do you think is going to happen to you people? All right. Which translates to half a lifetime's exposure in terms of rodent lifespan. And the percentage of affected rodents in these six studies range between 0.8% and 10.2%, whatever. Others have pointed out that these studies don't look at the amount of tumors and rodents without micro C hips. So it's impossible to say whether the technology was the cause. These people are stupid. Of course it was. Either way, there's still a bit of a question mark when it when it comes to potential health risks. All right, what are the security risks for micro um, 
sea hipping humans. All right. This is, again, an area of great debate. There are concerns about how easy it is to hack a micro sea hip. Although there aren't any cases of this happening yet, could it become a security threat as more people adopt the technology? There's also the fact that people can't remove the micro sea hip themselves, which removes a user's an autonomy over their own body. You were fool to get in in the first place. Okay. Micro sea hips can, of course, be removed safely. And there's the beautiful brother right there. That's the spirit. <laughs> But Kwa there's the beautiful brother right there, literally just went live. Kahala Yaha Bashim Yahusai. Well, let's continue on. <clears throat> there's also the fact that people can't remove the micro C hip themselves, which removes a user's autonomy over their own body. Micro C hips can, of course, be removed safely, but only with the help of a, a professional. And, and, and if you get it, I'm going to let you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know this right now off the top. Once you get it, it don't matter if you remove it. Once you get it, you're through. You see? Because you done bowed, you done submitted, and you done committed to the beast. And you will be none of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai's. See, there's no repenting from that. You see? <laughs> you out of there. You're through. So... Backtracking won't save you if you decide to get it and you try to backtrack. Potential benefits of micro C hipping humans. Micro C hips shouldn't be seen as all doom and gloom. Uh, the Salak here. Microchips, Salak, whatever. You know what? Who cares? Microchips shouldn't be seen as all doom and gloom, though. There are many potential benefits to the technology, starting with the obvious convenience. How many times have you gotten to your front door and realized you've locked your keys inside or done the frantic pocket pat search to find that your wallet or purse isn't where it was before? See how this man, sell, he's going to sell it smooth. This, move, this boy, smooth. Having a program micro c hip can allow you to have things like your debit card or keys always on hand. Literally. All right. There are also predictions that micro C hips could help save lives. Listen to this smooth criminal. The technology hasn't been developed yet, but in the future, medical professionals could be able to get all the important information they need to assess your health with a quick scan of your hand. Do the potential benefits outweigh the potential risks? For many, clearly they do. It could just be a case of new technology, new concerns until it's better understood and researched anyway. Maybe one day, pretty much everyone will have micro C hips under their skin. You see? <laughs> Revelations 13 and 16. He caused it all, right? Maybe we'll move on to a new technology before then, and it'll become yesterday's news. You see how this man's moving. He's his sale pitch. It's smooth. He's talking about it can save lives. This man's making it seem like he can do miracles with it. Guess what? At the end of the day, this man <laughs> is trying to is trying to uh, get your soul, man. And that's what that's what's gonna happen to you people that decide to get this thing. You see? You think this? You think this, this devil don't know? You think this devil don't know about Deuteronomy, um, the fifteenth chapter, going into that all? If a servant wants to serve his master for life. Hey, this is a digital all. You see? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let's close out there. Let's close out there. If the Spirit allows. <clears throat> the book of Deuteronomy. The 15th chapter. And I'm going to start at the, uh, I'm going to just go to the point. I'm going to start at the 16th verse. And it shall be, if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee. Referring to the servant, right? Because he loveth thee and thine house, because he is well with thee. Then thou shalt take an all and thrust it through his ear unto the door. And he shall be thy servant for 
forever. And also unto thy maidservant, thou shalt do likewise. And this all here, hey, this 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 uh, grain of rice, hey, this is a digital uh, all, man. <laughs> and once you get this thing, there's no turning back for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? You get the, if you get this thing, you you through. There's no hope. You see, so you know, as you Aki Aminakwa can see, we're we're inching closer and closer to the end. These prophecies are jumping off the pages. Jumping off the pages. Matter of fact, let me close out here. See, that's the spirit. Let's close out here. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 3, and it reads, For the vision, and the vision goes into what? The prophecies. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakat the Yahawa, Barakat the Yahawa Shai, Kal Halalim La, Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash, Shalawam.